What's going on, Swim fans? Welcome back to Whiteboard Wednesday. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to improve your pull in swimming. We're gonna talk about how to improve your pull in freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, and butterfly. Most of this video will be focused on freestyle, but I guarantee if you watch this video until the very end, you'll pick up some tips and tricks to take your swimming to the next level. Now, if you guys are new here, welcome to my Swim Pro, where we help you swim faster and smarter than ever before. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's go ahead and get right into the video first things first what is the pull we talk about pull as if we know what we're talking about but I'm gonna break it down for you guys it's not just swimming with your arms we often think it's just your arms right wrong it's actually a lot more than your hands your arms it's really your entire body now obviously most of the propulsion comes from your arms that is what the pull is predominantly derived of but there's more to that there's something called an early vertical forearm now the evf is an important concept to understand whether you're a beginner swimmer or a more advanced swimmer and it's the idea that as your fingertips slide into the water for any of the strokes but we're talking freestyle right now as your fingertips slide into the water and you extend and you rotate your body you initiate this early vertical forearm and in a sense what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your forearm as vertical as possible as early in the catch phase of the stroke and if you can do that you can actually increase the total surface area of water that you're pulling so it's not just swimming with your hands it's not just your fingers it's not just your forearm it's actually your entire arm all the way into your armpit you want to feel like you're putting your arm over a log over a garbage can over a chair whatever analogy allows you to visualize and feel this engagement and it involves bending Bending your elbow, we always talk about that high elbow catch. Well, that's what we're talking about. And it's more than just your arms. I mentioned that in the beginning. You might be confused, but let me explain it to you. There's something called rotational momentum. And so as your body is rolling through the stroke and backstroke and freestyle, you experience this, you rotate and you extend and you reach as far as you can. And as you initiate that catch, you start to drive forward with your hips and your shoulders, and this rotational momentum is actually what drives the power in your stroke. So when we talk about pull, it's not just your hands, it's not just your arms, it's your entire body. And it's so important to understand this early vertical forearm and rotational momentum concept because it's the foundation of swimming fast. Now you might be wondering to yourself, well, how do I actually improve these things? That's what I came here for. So let's talk about a few different ways how you can improve with different training sets. Specifically, how do you improve your pull? Three different concepts I have outlined for you guys. The first one is obviously to focus on technique. So I already explained a little bit about the early vertical form and rotational momentum. Now, if you incorporate different types of training sets into your swimming, you can actually apply these different techniques on a day-to-day, -day, workout by workout, set by set basis. Now, if you guys are looking for a swim training program and workouts, make sure you check out the My Swim Pro app available for iPhone and Android. There's hundreds of workouts and training programs personalized just for you. And in those workouts, we actually have training programs designed to help you improve your technique. And we apply some of the drills we're gonna talk about. And at the end of the video, I do have a workout that I'll walk through with you guys and explain set by set what's going on. But back to focusing on technique. What I want you to do is I want you to focus on isolating the arms so that you can focus on the pull. There's something called a pull set. And this is really where you try and isolate the upper body and focus on some of these different mechanics. There's a lot of different drills that you can do where you focus exclusively on your upper body. Maybe use a pull buoy, maybe use paddles. There's different types of equipment that you can use. A few pieces of those equipment include a snorkel, so that way you don't have to worry about breathing. You can focus on making your strokes symmetrical on the right and the left side. We talked about the pull buoy. There's paddles. You can also add resistance so that you can really focus on your catch. Resistance might be a parachute or a power tower. And there's a really fun tool that I highly recommend. It's something called the aqua knuckles. Now let me tell you about the aqua Knuckles. These are a game changer for your pull. And I want to thank Aqua Knuckles for sponsoring today's video. The Aqua Knuckles double wide can actually increase your pull force 
by up to 10% and make you swim up to 2.5% faster. How do you do that, you might ask? It's pretty simple. They create a five to 10 millimeter gap between the top of each of your fingers, and this increases the total surface area that your hand can generate more power with. They're really easy to use. You just slide them into your middle finger and ring finger on each of your hands and you swim as usual. And these Aqua Knuckles come in a bunch of different sizes and they look pretty slick. They're even color coordinated based on the size. And I've used them for over a year now. And they're a great addition to my equipment bag and your equipment bag as well. So you can pick them up at the link in the description below and you can use the Aqua Knuckles code for 15% off that's exclusive to the My Swim Pro community. I want you guys to know how awesome this piece of equipment is and how easy it is and small it is to incorporate into your equipment bag because fundamentally, if you wanna improve your pull, you have to have the right gear, you have to have the right training programs and you gotta put it all together. So definitely focus on your technique. Now another way that you can focus on improving your pull is really focus focusing on increasing your distance per stroke. Now this is fundamental to swimming efficiency. When we're talking about swimming efficiency or swimming economy, basically how effective are you with each stroke that you take in getting across the pool. So you wanna get across the pool taking as few strokes as possible within reason. Now obviously if you just push off the wall and float and you float between every stroke, you might take less strokes, but that comes at the expense of not going very fast. We wanna find that perfect balance between stroke efficiency, having a maximum distance per stroke, and also going pretty fast. Because if you, if you try and go fast, you're probably gonna end up taking a lot more strokes, and therefore your swimming efficiency goes down the drain. We don't want that. So focus on taking fewer strokes, and think about having more power per stroke. Of course, we have to do this with the context of an early vertical form, but focus on having an increased distance per stroke. If you use the right equipment and you follow a set like the one we're about to talk about, it'll all start to come together. That ties into the third point here of building strength and power. Now, if you do resistance training, remember water is 800 times more dense than air. So anytime you're in the water, you're technically doing resistance training. If you can apply the right technique to your stroke, you're actually going to get a really good workout in, but even more so than that, you're actually going to focus on generating power because your body is getting this great muscle activation because you're moving through this medium of water. So if you focus on the early vertical forearm, if you have something like the aqua knuckles to free focus on what your hand should be doing and how it should be positioned, you're actually going to generate power and you're gonna get this muscle recruitment. And at the very end of the day, we wanna remember the swimming equation. If you haven't seen that whiteboard I did on the swimming equation, it breaks down how you swim faster from a mathematical perspective, but I'll give you guys the Cliff Notes version. Basically, your swimming time is equal to your stroke rate times your cycle count. And what that means is if you wanna increase your stroke count, your cycle count will go down. If you decrease one, the other one increases. That's if you keep your time the same. If you're trying to go faster, you need to decrease either your stroke rate or your cycle count and keep the other one constant. These are very difficult to move in unison. But I'll tell you the easiest way to do this is to increase your distance per stroke, take less strokes, more power per stroke, and you're gonna move through the water more efficiently. And if you do that from a pulling perspective, you're actually gonna take your swimming to the next level, regardless of the stroke, whether it's fly back breast or free. Now the next question might be, well, I wanna do these pull sets, I wanna use paddles, I wanna use, I wanna use pull buoy, I wanna use the aqua knuckles. When do you actually incorporate this equipment into a set, how often, how frequently? Great questions. So I always recommend you incorporate any piece of equipment after you've warmed up. I, I have this saying, you warm up all natural, meaning no equipment. If you're dependent on fins, that's fine if you're just getting started. But once you're pretty regular swimming, I recommend not wearing any equipment for the first 10 or 20% of the workout. Once you've warmed up, then you start to layer on equipment. So traditionally, for that means the preset and maybe the main set. So do your warm up, no equipment, and then once you're ready to add equipment, whether that's paddles, pull buoy, snorkel, 
uh, fins, whatever, the aqua knuckles, do it in the preset or the main set. And then I have another general rule of thumb, which is not to do more than 50% of your total training volume with equipment. Something easy to remember, and that goes for a weekly basis. So maybe on one workout, you're gonna be 60 or 70% with equipment. Another workout, you'll be less. But over the course of a week or a month, your overall training volume should be less than 50% with equipment. Great rule of thumb. Now let's talk about an actual workout that we have here, which really ties all of this together. So I have a workout that's 2,500 meters, and it should take you less than 60 minutes. And I'll show you how to modify it to make it less or more. So when we're looking at this workout, we've got a warm up. Now the warm up is one 300 freestyle, followed by 450s kick. It's important to get the legs warmed up, even though we're focusing on the pull. And then 450s, I am order. I always recommend doing all the strokes to get all that full muscle activation. Now all of this warm up set is with no equipment. We're gonna layer in the equipment on our preset. Now what we're gonna do on our preset, we're gonna do a couple different drills. First, we're gonna go 425s drill, fist drill. So this is where we ball up our hand in a fist. Maybe we have tennis balls or golf balls we're gonna put in there. We're gonna try and minimize the size of our hand, reduce our surface area. So we really focus on popping up that elbow and getting a nice early vertical forearm. After 425's drill, we're gonna go 450's freestyle swim with the aqua knuckles. So here we're still focusing on swimming with power. We're focusing on keeping that separation between the top of our fingers about five to 10 millimeters max. We're gonna focus on having a good catch. After the 450s, we're gonna do one 100 pull. This can be with paddles, it can be with a buoy, and you should feel a lot of power, and you should feel like your, your hands are pretty big because you've got some additional resistance in the water. Now we're gonna go that two rounds and then we're gonna get into the main set. The main set is also two rounds. And now the main set is 450s freestyle, where you're gonna negative split the number of strokes that you take. This is one of my favorite kinds of negative splits. Oftentimes, when we think about negative split, it means going faster on the second half than the first half. And that's traditionally what negative split is. But in this case, we're actually doing that with our stroke count. So we're gonna count our strokes on the way back, focus on having a good turn, and we're gonna take less strokes on the way back. So we're focused on increasing our distance per stroke, maximizing that efficiency, really focusing on getting that pull with an early vertical forearm. After those 450s negative split stroke count, we're gonna go one 200 pull, that's gonna be with paddles, and you're really gonna try and focus on that power, and it's an aerobic set, a 200, we're getting a little bit longer, really focus on that endurance element, Two rounds of that, and then the cool down is 450s freestyle, nice and easy, focus on silent swimming, having a perfect stroke. All together, this workout is 2,500 meters. If you wanna chop off some volume, pretty easy. You can just do the preset one round instead of two rounds. You can do the main set one round instead of two. That'll drop the workout under 2,000. If you wanna increase the volume of the workout, you can add sets, or instead of 450s, you could go six or eight. Instead of the 200, you could go five 200s. You could go 2200s, whatever it takes to get to your specific distance that is your goal. So I hope this video was a good overview of how you can improve your pull in swimming. Take it to the next level. If you guys enjoyed this video, you're gonna love all the other content on our channel. And of course, you're gonna love the My Swim Pro app. So make sure you give it a download if you have not done so already. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Wish you the best and happy swimming.